Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back, boys. One of my most commonly asked questions in the Gorilla Tribe, in the comments, in my Instagram DMs, is how do I fix this feeling of unhappiness inside of me? And there's a lot of guys I feel that just feel a little bit lost in the world. They feel unhappy with their situation. They can't appreciate things. They, they feel sad deep inside. And that, that's a shame. That's a real problem. I, I, it, it hurts me. It pains me to feel that. And I wanted to offer you a story from my own life and, and a challenge to partake in to hopefully try and solve these feelings of unhappiness that you're having. Before we get into the video, if you boys feel like your unhappiness, your anxiety, your lack of drive is coming from low testosterone, if you feel like that might be the issue, please check out the course below, Triple Your Testosterone. You get added to our Gorilla Tribe group and you get the exact step-by-step -step training programs, nutrition, supplements that you need to be able to boost your testosterone naturally, exactly what I used to triple my testosterone. So boys, if you want to, check it out in the link below. Let's get into the video. When I was 14, I was in the army cadets. For anyone that doesn't know what that is, in the UK, you can, if you're interested in the military, you can join like a mini version of the army to get some military training before you go into the military. You can join the military at 16, anything before that, if you wanna get that experience, you can do it like on the weekend and on the weekdays. And I did that for a couple of years. Now, after you've been going a while, they ask you if you wanna come on a boot camp, and it's where you go away for, I think about four or five days from what I remember, to a military base in the UK, in your military clothes with a load of other young guys, and you had to live the boot camp lifestyle. And it was fucking hell. It was terrible for a young guy that had never really been out of the home, that had that had just enjoyed his football on the weekends, playing football, sleeping in his nice comfy bed, not gone through any huge hardships in my life. That was a massive eye opener for me. And the reason why, you get put in this little bunker, about 12 other guys in there. And that part's fine, that, that's fun. I mean, there's com camaraderie, you're, you're having a good time. It's a, it's a good experience. So you're a little bit nervous, what have you. First morning, guy comes in with a pan and a, and a spoon, starts hitting a pan. Everybody get the fuck up. Get out of bed, you lazy, horrible, horrible little children. Scares the shit out of you, basically, at, at five in the morning. I'd never woken up at five in the morning once in my life at that point. So I'd stay up half the night and then get woken up and be like, fuck, this is, this is really horrible. And then they'd be like, all right, go on a run. Get really wet and horrible and then roll around in sand and then come back and have a cold shower. Oh, and all you can eat is these horrible beans. And then you were hungry, you were tired, you were wet, you were cold, and it really started to be a miserable trip. And then when they'd see you sort of flagging behind, there wasn't that encouragement there. There was just bollockings. They'd just scream at you, they'd shout at you. And it would dishearten your mood. It would really, it would really get to you because this shit was to make you tough. It was to stop you being a little boy and, and start turning you into a man. After the second day, you don't even get to sleep in a bunker anymore. After that, you have to go out on camp which is where you walk out into the forest and you and your teammates, you set up a camp using just a piece of plastic. You don't have a tent, just a piece of plastic you tie between trees. You sleep underneath and one of you keeps watch and then the other one sleeps and then the other one keeps watch. It's, it's quite cool. It's like the military and you've all got assault rifles that um, they don't fire real bullets. They just fire blanks. So we're under there. It starts tipping it down with rain. All the cold water's just going into the bag that we're sleeping in, the sleeping bag, and freezing cold and, and, and no way of getting warm whatsoever. So we make it through to the morning. Everyone's pretty grouchy at this point. And then we had to go on this big march, big long march to an abandoned building, where in that building, they sit you down in a nice big cold puddle because it's been pouring with rain and you have to take apart your gun and put it back together again. And that was really difficult for me. I don't know why. When I was younger, my limbs weren't working yet. I was very discombobulated. My brain had started to develop, but my body hadn't caught up. So I was quite clumsy. And I, I just couldn't figure out, I couldn't make my hands work. They were freezing. I couldn't put this gun back together. I was getting shouted at and I was just crying there in the in the, in this little tunnel. I was crying, just sort of snivelling away to myself. No big, no big tears, no, no real crying out loud. And I remember sitting there thinking, wow, I cannot wait to get in the bath when I get home. And I've never really been a huge fan of baths. I, I, I like them, but you don't really think about them. You don't think about a bath and, and think about it all day. But all I thought about for the rest of that trip was going in, back to my house, seeing my mum and dad, having something other than beans to eat and getting in a nice hot bath and then getting into bed and actually getting some sleep. And these are the things, and this is where this story comes round to, to your feelings of happiness. I found happiness 
in a sense, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of joy again, in a very simple thing like having something other than beans to eat and getting into a bed and getting in the bath brought me pure joy and happiness when I got home to do them. A newfound appreciation for the things that I'd previously taken for granted. Now, I think this is very, very relevant to all of us and the feelings we feel about being unhappy because you probably do the same things every day. You probably get into a nice warm bed. You probably have water and food that you can eat every day. You live in extreme comfort. To have real joy, to have happiness, to fix your unhappiness, you have to remember the things that you're grateful for. And to do that, you have to go through great pain and suffering. So this is my challenge for you boys. A lot of places around the world are starting to get wet and cold. So I want you to go out camping just on your own. I want you to go out there in the cold and wet alone. I want you to march to a certain location 20 kilometers away. I want you to camp there for one night. I want you to only take beans in your, in your backpack. I want you to only take beans and a stove and water. You can take a book for reading. You can take a phone to be turned off, put in the bottom of the bag, only used in emergencies. And I want you to go and trek out there alone through the cold. And I want you to get soaking cold and wet. I want you to sleep out there in the cold and dark on your own, on the floor, in the sleep, in a, in a, inside a tent. I want you to pack all that stuff up, wet and cold, the next day. I want you to march another 20 kilometres away from home. And then put that back down and eat some more beans and drink some more water. And after that day, you can put your backpack back on early in the morning. And you can march those 40 kilometres back to home. And you can find and you can feel the joy of eating something other than beans. And getting into a nice warm bath and back into your bed. And for those moments when you get home, you'll realise that you can find happiness in anything, in any situation in life. You just aren't suffering enough. If you're up for it, drop it down in the comments below. If you're in the tribe, you know what to do. Drop me a DM. But I hope that helps for anyone feeling those feelings of sadness, unhappiness. I hope that 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 reminds you that there are things to have joy for. Just the simple things we, we take for granted every day. And sometimes it just takes doing something a bit painful to remind you what you really have. Enjoy the challenge, chaps. And I'll see you on the next one. <gasps> whoopa, whoopa!